Good afternoon. Two sisters say they've been left heartbroken after their mother's house in Coventry was burgled two days after her funeral. Christine and Leanne Horn say precious items of jewellery, including their parents' wedding rings and a gold locket, were stolen during the break-in. They say they're desperate for them to be returned. If you've got a heart, you'll return back these treasured items of jewellery because they're of no real value to anybody else, but to us is everything that we've got left of both our parents, and they're gone. A charity which helps victims of forced marriage has written to schools in the Midlands, urging teachers to be aware of the signs. Carmen Ivana's chief executive, Jasvinda Sangira, founded the charity after she was disowned by her family for refusing to marry. Last year, more than 430 calls were made to the charity from Birmingham, Stoke-on-Trent and Walsall. The majority of our victims, potential victims of forced marriage and honour crimes are going to be very young people in school. Teachers have a critical role in identifying potential victims. They need to know what to do, what not to do, and they need to be aware of what's available. The Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, says all new London taxis will have to be zero emissions from 2018. The London taxi company, which currently makes black cabs, is based in Coventry. Boris Johnson says he may look towards other manufacturers to make his vision a reality. More than 100 people attended a public meeting to discuss the Channel 4 programme Benefit Street last night. It was held at the school on James Turner Street in Winston Green in Birmingham after residents complained they'd been exploited by programme makers. Channel 4 has revealed it plans to have a live debate after the final programme. It says the programme is a fair reflection of life on the street. A university award has been given in the name of a woman from Derbyshire who was killed in a landslide on a beach in Dorset. Charlotte Blackman died in 2012 after a cliff above her collapsed. The award was presented to a student with a first-class degree at the University of Derby. Now let's get the weather from Lucy. Hello, I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm afraid we've got more showers and rain in the forecast as we move towards the weekend. And it's turning a touch cooler as well. Temperatures falling back to where they should be for the time of year. So then, as for the rest of this afternoon, well, it's all about the showers. We've got lines of showers moving in from the southwest, spreading north and eastwards. Now, some of these are going to be fairly heavy. Don't be surprised to get caught in a heavy downpour over the next few hours and through this evening. Temperatures not bad, 7 or 8 degrees Celsius above where we would expect them to be. Quite breezy though as those showers move through. The showers will just continue through this evening and overnight. There will be a few drier spells and temperatures won't drop too low as you can see holding up above freezing, a frost free night. And then some dry spells through tomorrow morning and then it's a case of sunshine and showers in the afternoon. <laughs> And that brings you up to date with the news this lunchtime. There are more details on our stories on the website. Just go to itv.com slash central. I'm back with Matt for ITV News Central at 6. Hope you can join us then. For now, though, from the team, bye-bye.